Okay, we're gonna make some russet potato pancakes with some leeks, better known as uh, latkes in the, uh, in the Jewish community. And um, you know, this, these are fantastic to make. So we're gonna peel our potato. Uh, this potato is a little bit speckled, doesn't matter. We're going to grate it up. We're gonna make a really crispy, fun, golden brown potato and leek pancakes with this. And I'm just gonna serve them with a little bit of jalapeno pesto. If you wanna get fancy with it, you can put some caviar on top or some smoked salmon, sour cream, some applesauce. Those are really classic ways to do it as well. I'm just gonna bring a little bit of my uh, my chili pepper flair to this one. We're gonna cut some leeks into small pieces. I'm gonna saute the leeks just a little bit, um, just to take some of the rawness out so that they uh, they cook they cook nicely and, they, and they're nice and tender in the pancakes themselves. You know, leeks are in the onion family. A lot of times you see them in soups and, and you know, in stocks and stuff like that, but we're gonna use them for, you know, great flavor and wonderful texture. A leek is underrated, and if you get one in your Misfits box, you're lucky. So we're gonna saute the leeks very quickly. It doesn't take long, maybe a couple minutes. I'm gonna season with a little salt and pepper. Just soften them a little bit. Melt the leeks, as they say. And then we're gonna take our potatoes and we're gonna grate them on the large eyes. I love it. I got a freckled potato. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to get one too. What we wanna do is squeeze all of the starch out of here, all the water. All this water's coming out of the potatoes. And then we're gonna to start to make our potato pancake mixture. We have an egg. I'm gonna whisk that. Then we're gonna put the potatoes in there, strained potatoes, and then a little bit of baking powder, some wonder flour, a little salt and pepper, and then our leeks. The leeks nice and green in there. Mix this about. And this is the uh, potato pancake batter. Mm, smells so good. The leeks just give it so much, you know, that, I love that sort of savory onion-like flavor. Let's go to, over to our pan. So I'm gonna use a nonstick pan. Nonstick pan is probably the way to go here. You could use a stainless steel pan if you wanted to, or even a cast iron pan. Why risk it? If you have a good nonstick pan, that's, that's the place to use it. Okay, so what I like to do is take a little mound of the potatoes, almost like a little ball of them, and then take the back of a spoon and press it down. So you get a very thin, close to round, doesn't have to be perfect. I always say like when something is like a little bit misshapen, it's, um, it's rustic, it's homemade. The idea is to kind of shape them so they turn into little potato pancakes, just like that. Mm, I can smell the leeks. And I like mine to be nice and thin. So basically one layer of potato and leek, and then let them get nice and crispy on the first side. And you can see the starch is gonna hold them together. You can see the edges are starting to get a little brown. Take a peek. Yeah, we should flip this one. Yeah, perfect. Ooh, nice and crispy. That's what we want. Crispy potatoes. Gorgeous. Turn down the heat a little bit, let them cook through. Because don't forget, you started with raw potatoes. The leeks are cooked a little bit, but the potatoes are a little bit raw, so we want the potatoes to cook and get nice and crispy. On the second side, we just turn it down and we let it cook slowly in the, uh, in the canola oil. So while that's happening, we can start making our jalapeno pesto. in there, cilantro, pine nuts, parmigiano, some fresh garlic, and some olive oil, and some salt and pepper. Take our pancakes out, nice and crispy on both sides. I'm gonna let them drain on some paper towels. Just while they're still a little bit warm, just sprinkle them with a little salt. Let them drain. Here's like a little trick. I just take a little bit of pesto, put it on the bottom of the plate so that the potato pancakes don't slide. Put them right on top. And we take some of our pesto, just dollop it right in the middle. Again, like some smoked salmon in this pesto would work really nicely. A little sour cream if you wanted to, or some creme fraiche. But I think we're just gonna, we're gonna go classic. This is a really good snack. A little cilantro garnish. All right, potato and leek pancakes, jalapeno pesto. Snack of the century.